Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I just uh, I just had something dropped on my heart just a couple of days ago, and, and and I just had to share with you. Um, and uh, typically, how the Lord works with me it might be different for you, but how He works for me is um, whenever He whenever He is really dealing with me about something, it 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 just comes and goes, and it just stays. The theme just stays in my head for such a long time, and 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 so I just wanted to share because I also know that typically it's not just me that's dealing with uh, something. So um, I just want to share with you. I was out for a run uh, just a couple of days ago, and and I was I was listening to the word uh, on the Bible app, just kind of just wash over my mind, um, and and I was in Judges in chapter thirteen, um, the last. Two verses, verse 24 and 25, read like this. Um, when her son was born, she named him Samson. And the Lord blessed him as he grew up. And the Spirit of the Lord stirred him while he lived in Mahanadan, which is located between the towns of Zorah and Eshtal. Now, I've read over this before. Uh, just in passing to get to the real Samson story, you know, I'm talking about where he was pushing down the pillars and all that stuff. But, uh, but this time, this one just stuck with me. Like, like, and so I, w- I want to help break this down. The, the first part says Samson grew up and the Lord blessed him as he grew. Well, look, w- when, when you begin looking for blessings in your own life, that's exactly what you'll find. You'll find blessings upon blessings. But also on, on the flip side, when you begin looking for something to whine and complain about, that's what you're going to find. And, and, and the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord stirred within him while he was in between these two cities. He wasn't where he wanted to be, but he's come a long way from where he was, right? So, so so Samson is, is in between these two cities that I butchered their names, but God is still faithful to complete the work that he began in you. He didn't bring you this far to let you drop off a cliff. Like, like he's not going to do that. Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians that, that, that you have been enriched in every way and blessed with every spiritual blessing. Like that's a past tense kind of blessing. Like that's not something you gotta wait for. That's turn around and look what God has already done for you. He's brought you this far. It may not be where you think you wanna go, Ryan, but he has brought you this far. He has blessed you along the way and he's got more future blessings because my Bible also tells me that his mercies are made new every morning. And so it's in this in-between that God can and will begin to stir you up. And it's the stirring that prepares you for service to be done. But the service is not contingent upon your surroundings. What happens is that when the Spirit of the Lord comes on you, like, like it did for Samson over and over again, we said the Spirit of the Lord came on Samson and he defeated the Philistines and he caught all these foxes and tied their, their, their tails together. It was just a crazy story. But, but the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord came upon him while he was young and while he was waiting for, from, to, to, to go into the promise that, that, um, that God had for him. He, was, he, he had been brought this far. He had been trained this much. And then he was waiting for his purpose, his, what we would say his, his real fulfillment to, to happen. And, and it's in this moment that the Spirit of the Lord began to stir within him. And it's the stirring that prepares you for the service to be done. But when the Spirit of the Lord does come on you, it's, it's what's behind you gets recognized as preparation for what's in front of you. But when you don't recognize properly your previous blessings, then it's, then it's the future service only that seems like sacrifice all the time. Now, there's beauty in sacrifice, don't get me wrong, but, but, but when you can't view it in terms of like, this is my service to God, rightly dividing word of truth, this is how I present myself to the Lord, is serving his people. But when you can't see that, it feels like it's only just serving and giving and I'm just beat down and always taken advantage of. But it's this in-between that we need the Spirit of God to come and stir us up once more. While Samson was in between where he came from, and where he was going. It was that moment that the Spirit of the Lord began to stir him up. 
So I'm going to leave you with a question today. Is what would happen if, if we stopped complaining about this season of in-between and began celebrating the season of stirring? Because the waiting season, the beauty of the in-between is that now, today is the day that the Lord has made. So I hope you're blessed this, this afternoon and, 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 and I hope you're still digging into the word. Um, but hey, be blessed uh, and, and know that the season you're in has a deep and meaningful purpose to it. Just keep chasing Jesus.